Hello Martin Lander here from Brainy Automations and in today's video we're going to be reviewing Kitchen, the all-in-one client portal. I'm going to take you through your entire journey, show you how to use Kitchen, how to set some things up, I'm going to share my opinion along the way and then at the end of the video I'm going to give you my final verdict. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours, and I'll also leave a link that will let you try before you buy in the description area as well. Here we are inside Kitchen's portal area. This is the overview admin of Kitchen. And one thing that they brag about is the fact that they are extremely simple in terms of user interface and usability. And at first glance, you can actually tell this is true. But let me walk you around the dashboard and give you an idea of what you're entering. So on the left, we have two navigation bars. The first navigation bar is where you get your notifications, where you can navigate to the main dashboard, and then you can switch between different task specific things, which we'll get into shortly. The second navigation is where you create folders. One of the unique things about Kitchen is the fact that they have designed their software based on the way your everyday computer works. Think of opening up a file explorer, creating folders and putting files in those file explorers. This is the entirety of Kitchen. Everything that they've done inside the software mimics this sort of design and functionality. We can do things like create our new folders, conversations and invoicing and stuff like that. We can filter everything and also search for things specifically. We can also customize our cover pictures, as well as change our backgrounds with either a custom logo or just again, more colors. I would recommend starting in this little area here as this will guide you through each of the terms, but you've got me for that. So you'll know exactly what you're getting into. You also have a video, which I've watched. It's only two minutes long. It doesn't walk you through every feature, but it does walk you through the five main features. Straight to the point, easy to follow. I would recommend watching this. Before you start doing anything, I would recommend clicking on the first navigation and heading over to settings. Inside settings is where you can configure everything. So when you start doing all your admin, it will be fully branded under all of your information. Under general, this is where you can change the workspace name, the logos, your theme colors, the currencies, and your default language. You can invite your teammates and also customize different moderation levels for your staff to determine what they can and cannot access. And this also includes access for clients as well. For your forms and invoices, you can create custom fields and change the format and even include things like Boolean logic, which is ultimately yes or no, and make it all visible. Because you can invoice inside Kitchen, you can also set expiration times and also time zones on how long and what time will show on these invoices. You can connect basically all the mainstream payment gateways like Stripe and PayPal, but you can also connect your bank account as well and just get bank wires. All you need to do to set this up is grab your public key and secret key from the admin area inside of the payment gateway and paste it in here. They do have these simple instructions that you can follow nevertheless. This is where you can customize your invoices. So you can add your logos, change the colors, add your default billing information and your numbering sequences. And so far you can tell this is all just incredibly simple to use. Inside the notification area, because you can have live chats with your clients or better yet, create a conversation folder, this acts as like an in-house email between you and client or you and your team members. So you can customize all of this to however you want them. And you can also customize each event notification. So when there's a new message, when there's a new payment, when there's a new quote accepted, and then general reminders. Inside services, you can list all of your services. And to do this, you just click new service, add a name and a description, pricing, and you can even add multiple currencies for your members. Then you save it and there we have it. Your accountants will also love all of this because you can integrate directly with accounting softwares like QuickBooks or Xero. But even if you couldn't directly one click install these, if you have an active Zapier account, you can connect basically any system. You can create forms, and then customize those forms and embed them directly onto your websites and then even redirect them to a thank you page. And then this will all sync with your systems. If you don't like the style of the form and you know a little bit of CSS, you can literally come into the custom CSS area, type in some manual code, and then it will apply it 
to the form. So now that we've configured our portal the way we want it, let me show you how to set up all the client areas because this is where it really shines. The first thing we're going to do is click on new and we're going to create a folder. We're going to name the parent folder as the client's company. Let's pretend our client is called rent SEO. We're then going to select shareable with clients and do save. This is now going to contain all of the client's information. But just to give you an example, this is a folder on my desktop, nothing to do with kitchen. Just like what we did with kitchen, we're going to create a new folder and call it the client name. And now we can just navigate directly into that folder and upload all of the files for that client. Now that we've created the root folder for the client, we can click on this area and then create a new folder. And now we have some new options. So let's say we wanted to create a chat area. We'll click on conversation and just call this chat or whatever you want to. And now we have a chat area where our clients can log in and send messages directly here. You can also do things like schedule messages to go out at a later point in time, attach files, images, GIFs, emojis. You can even record an audio message and send it them. And then you can save your own template of replies and use them as shortcuts, include email signatures, etc. Now we're going to click on create a folder. And this time we're going to do board. We can call this progress and do create. This is where we kind of create new tasks and show the progression of what's going on. So we can add our first section, which could be not started, our second section in progress, and our third completed. And now under each section, we have this add task area. We can click add task and we can say fact find. We can then say another task. And now just like that, it's so easy to create tasks, which is really nice because we don't need to click on loads of things. If you want to add more details to each task, you can then click on the task and amend all of these fields as you want and even create subtasks, add comments, descriptions, and add your own custom fields as well. When you're done with a task, you can do things like just drag it over to the next section and just like that and then the client will be able to see all these things. Go ahead and create another folder, and we can do things like create a document area, embed things, invoices and milestones and all stuff like that. Now, if we go back to the main dashboard, we can see that this is the area that the client's going to see. And what's cool is that you can actually upload the client's logo and branding to really make a personalized experience for them. You can also change the grid layout just like that and upload files from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. Everything that you need is actually here and it's so simple to execute. The next thing is how do we get our clients seeing this portal? Well, they make that really easy as well. The first thing that we can do is go over to our first sidebar and then click on clients. We're going to add a new client and we'll call this one. We'll add the email, a title, and we can even set a password for them as well. But we'll leave the password blank so they can set it themselves. We'll go ahead and create client. And now we've created a client. So if we go back to our dashboard, click on the rent SEL client business name and then select invite. Now what we can do, we have two options. We can invite our own team members or we can invite clients here. So we can simply click invite new client and fill out the details manually, or we can use the search feature to invite the client this way. And now an email has been sent to the client to create the account. So let's go over to my emails and see if the emails arrived. And here is the email that's now inviting me to join. So we'll go ahead and click view folder and click login with email. And now the client will receive a magic code. Code in. You can see a few differences here. This is the client portal and they don't have the extra options that we have in the main admin area. So they can only browse this folder. If we create new folders outside of the folder for rent SEO, they're not going to see those folders because they can only see what we invite them to see. So now if we go into chat, we can say something like, hello, how are you? Send. And now when we log into our admin area and go into chat, we see a new message saying, hello, how are you? And then we can communicate directly back with them. So the question is, what do I think of Kitchen? This is an extremely well-built product. It's actually a 
really simple solution to something that's often overcomplicated. We can assign team members different tasks, create custom portals for our clients and provide them with all the information that they need. We can integrate Kitchen with any external software thanks to the use of Zapier and almost anyone who can use a computer will instantly know how to start using Kitchen because it mimics how we use a computer in terms of how we navigate through folders and create files and stuff like that. The design is simple. The learning curve will probably take you less than five minutes. Fast, lightweight, you can access from any computer and device. But most importantly, it does what it says on the tin. Would I recommend Kitchen? Yes, I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.